Hey folks, Marty Griffin. Um, taking a walk with the Citizens Advocate, Lorenzo Rulli and Tony Moreno, retired Pittsburgh cop. Lorenzo uh, and Tony have a long history. Uh, Tony ran for mayor, Tony was a cop, and Lorenzo and I have a long history. How long? Man, we've probably been communicating in one form or another for five years, right? Something like that. We've had highs and lows, would you um, suggest? Which only is, because of you. Only because of me? Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, all right, I won't touch you. I'm sorry, but I'm not trying to touch you. Um, you shot, you're back in the news again, you shot this video, was it right here Saturday night? Yeah, it was an alleyway right here. Right over here? Yeah. Can we walk over there and tell mm-hmm. me what happened? What you saw, Was it was late too. It was 8th. 35. I just got here with some food to serve, and the Pittsburgh police and the task force that's unidentified yeah. popped up. Uh, they grabbed a man, young black guy. They kind of started to pull him in different directions so he couldn't really fall. Right. Uh, they said he had drugs. He said he had weed. Um, they tackled him to the ground and it just got worse from there because that's what Pittsburgh police do. So you shot the whole thing. Correct. And there were kind of two different variations of this story. One of them suggests that these are Pittsburgh police out of hand, right? Correct. Other folks would suggest that they were doing their job. Beating people can never be the police's job, unless we identify that the the origin of the police was exactly that, but we don't want to talk about that. So that young man uh, had just been arrested the week prior for selling crack cocaine Mm -hmm. and was back out in the streets, and then according to police undercover guys, had seen him selling crack cocaine down here mm-hmm. and had a knife on him. Mm-hmm. Is that troubling to you that he had that history? No. Why, sir? Because he don't have no more history than anyone else, correct? Yeah, he We does. just identify his history because... Because they witnessed because, him. No, 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 because we caught the police committing a crime. No, so they, we have to identify that he's a criminal first, but it doesn't change the fact that the police are the ones who, who actually committed the crime. Because his crime doesn't determine if the police are criminals, right? No, of course it doesn't. Right. So why were the police officers criminals, and why are we focusing on the fact that he is a criminal? No, no. No, it's a big problem down here. In fact, I've heard you talk about this. Talk about what? A lot of the guys, a lot of the folks out here who get arrested, they're back out. But the truth of the matter is, most of them, as you would argue, because you've been there, need mental health treatment. When have you heard me say that? Well, you've had significant mental health treatment. When have you heard me say that about these people? That they need help? No, no, no. That they get arrested and they're back out on the street. Oh, no. I've heard you beg for them to get help. Right. Okay. I want yeah. to clarify that. Now, what's your question, Marty? You would, you're convinced that what needs to happen here with these to, officers? We need to put the people over the property. And with these officers specifically, they need to be fired. They're abusive. They're dangerous and they're violent. And had we not been recording, that man could have easily died. Had you not seen that man jump down with four force and, and knee that, that kid in his face when he couldn't defend himself? They would argue, and again, I'm not taking a no. side, that he would not comply. But we see that's not true based on the video, correct? No, I didn't see that. You, what did you see? Uh, again, I don't, I don't pass judgment on this sort of thing. What did you see is what I'm asking. I saw them trying to arrest a guy who wouldn't comply. How would he not comply if there's several officers on him? There's really not much of non-compliance possible. You did see that he was held down. And Absolutely. Every every extremity he had. And they out. found a knife on him. Okay. And he'd been dealing crack earlier in the night. Uh-huh. Is that problematic at all to you? I'm not going to judge a man's right. actions because that's not my place. Right. I'm a criminal, right, Marty? Isn't that what you said? No, I didn't say oh, that. Oh, yes, you did. And that's okay. But in your eyes, I'm a criminal. To the city, I'm a criminal. No, to those man, same I don't, police I don't see you as a criminal. Okay, but, but you... We go back would. to when you were a kid. Sure. The first time, in fact, let's be clear. The first time you reached out to me, you were a student, and you're looking for some help, student, and I offered to help you. Where? where? Wherever you were in class. It was a long time ago, man. I've you were never, a young man. I've never been in school. You've never been in school ever, anywhere. Mm-mm, nope. We're gonna argue about mm-hmm. minutia, aren't we? Mm-hmm. You just want to mess with me today. Yeah. What's up? All right. Let's All right. Keep so, the topic. I'm glad you're here. Mm-hmm. Why are you involved in this again? Why are you back out here? The Smithfield Street Shelter closed right. on June 20th. Right. Right. 2023. Three months passed. Two children were born out here. A woman gave birth right across the street from the shelter. Several people have died. Several dozens overdoses that have, have not have not 
ended in the death of people because people have been out here with Narcan. You're right again. Right? You're right again. So the shelter closing, like I said from the beginning, would not do more good for the city of Pittsburgh. It would only do harm. When we displace people and we take from people what they have and they already have nothing, well then you give them nothing to live for. This is a safe space. As much as you might see as there was a drug dealer with a knife, sure, great, right? There's also children. There's also moms. There's Absolutely. also dads. There's also uncles and brothers and sisters. And they all have to live here. They sleep here because it's safe, because they know we're watching. Do you understand? Yes. This is a safe space. Whether you see it or not, this is a community of people that protect but, each other. But if we can walk around the corner. No, but, we can't because there's probably people over there. Well, we won't show them. It's just me and you. Okay. I promise you I won't exploit anyone. I appreciate you caring you so much. You did it before. You know, that last time you and Tony came down. You um, said we could be honest, Marty. I know. No, I'm cool. Mm -hmm. I love you, man. I'm, I go way back with you. Like I, a distant you know that. cousin. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, in this space, if you look up the street toward Mellon Park, okay, mm -hmm. there have been more than 50 arrests of drug dealers in the last month. Why are we focusing on drug dealers? That's not what I'm here for. I'm here for. I'm. I'm here for. But the what I'm saying is, along with the homeless situation, we have drug dealers who, who are jeopardizing the safety of the people you care Marty, about you the most. Stop touching me. I won't touch you. <laughs> I apologize, man. That's an um, old, old habit. Uh, what are you saying? Say it again. The, in the span, span of the last month, more than 50 drug dealers okay. are out here dealing to people that you love uh -huh. who, who may end up overdosing that you okay. suggested right. that they are overdosing because of these drug dealers. Uh -huh. They've been arrested. Don't you think that's the city doing what they should do? It's, listen, we're, we're not going to you're trying to argue something. I'm not. If okay. they're arresting drug dealers, that's their business. Okay? I understand that drug dealers sell drugs because society doesn't really give them any options. That's a whole nother conversation. Yes, sir. I don't care if they're arresting drug dealers. I care that they're beating the shit out of them in front of a shelter where there are dozens of people who can be reactionary, who can who can actually make one mistake and, and cause a real big catastrophe, right? That's what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about the fact that they're policing people, again, who have nothing instead of providing those same resources to the people. You Did you see the video I posted where the police came down and they talked to us and, and I filmed and I said, well, where do you want them to go? I did, sir. Right. They had no resources available. It's 100% accurate. I had none, right? It's Besides, of... there's a meal right here and if you stay here, you'll be protected by someone, right? Right. right. That is what this is. I don't care about drug dealers. I care about how all people are treated. And let's just be very clear. I haven't talked about race around this space because you I haven't. just didn't carry that conversation. The only people who remain out here at night are black people, primarily black men. So when I see a black man at a shelter at 835 at night when the sun is down and a police presence that is literally unheard of in a matter of seconds, I'm concerned. I'm concerned for the safety of everyone out here. Right. In terms of you personally, mm -hmm. have police has the mental health system because I'm not saying anything out of hand about it. you've been through it you've Correct. been in mental facilities you've been in jail mm -hmm. right yeah you were in the middle of a lot of significant protests here in town correct and arrested several times right correct. your treatment right in mental health facilities has it been adequate no no you watched me on camera get dragged out of a hospital in my, my underwear right I, I've seen a lot of right. your videos you think anybody reached out to help me nobody not a, not a city official not an organization you see i'm not a part of an organization Marty. i work by myself i know for the community with the community so when i get dragged out of a hospital it breaks my trust in everything the little things that i can do is help myself and, and others do that. i just watched him actually before we started rolling to be perfectly honest i just watched him a woman came up to him and said she wanted to take a bus and he said how much uh, does a bus cost and she said the I can get on for two dollars, but it's two seventy-five. And he went into his wallet and actually got out exactly two dollars and seventy-five cents. You kind of spend your day doing this, do you not? Uh, for the last three months and about the last pre-COVID, yeah. You said something to me before we started. You were actually, and I'm going to bring Tony into this in a minute. You said something about you're leaving Pittsburgh. Eventually, when I have enough resources to do so, it's not safe for me as a black man or a black activist here. In Pittsburgh. Correct. And, and he said, where are you going? And he said, anywhere but Pittsburgh. Correct. But it is your home. No, not anymore. No? No. Pittsburgh used to be my home, and I thought that I could make a difference here. And to be honest and fair, I have, and many people do. The problem is that there are too many systems of oppressions that are going to continuously be against the people who are trying to make a change. But also, you have to identify that some of the people that want to seat at the table are actually trying to change the table. Do you think, are you fairly mischaracterized as a criminal? Absolutely. 
I would care less though. Right. Because the idea is if you spent more than five minutes watching a live video on Facebook or or uh, watching my page as much as you would sit down and talk to me, you would understand that Lorenzo Rulli is two people. I'm an activist and I'm, I'm someone's son. I'm someone's brother, I'm someone's uncle. You understand? So I could be multiple things, but are the two the same? Sure. I could be standing right here talking to you as I am. I'm, I'm a person and I'm also an activist. And I, I, by the way, I appreciate him doing this. You didn't have to do this. You could have told me to go away. You could have told me to leave you alone. Right. I, I the only reason why I did it is because I think that a lot of people talk about things without getting context. And I think that you do that a lot. But also I've seen you exploit people just for a little bit of views and I didn't like that so yeah. much. So I wanted to be able to look you in your face and tell you right. that when you come down here, if you want to talk to people, talk to them. Right. Ask for permission. Yes. But also, Marty, if you really cared about them, you would say, I'm going to get PA dockets on my phone. And if before I'm going to ask them if they'll go on camera, I'm going to ask them if I can look them up, make sure they don't have a warrant. But you couldn't do that ever because you can never walk down here and gain the trust of the people. Well, the truth is, and you you don't pay attention to my career, but I spend most of my day helping people. Sure. That's what they I do for a li- like these folks That's how I initially met you. I help a lot of folks that are poor, my man. But, we put 400 furnaces in homes. But, Marty, those people don't look like these. No, sir, you're That's right. That's the problem, you see what I'm saying? No, no. We all help people. You're right. It's the matter of who we help because everyone likes to believe in religion, and I'm not really that good at it. But yeah. here's the thing. The Bible say that what it, how you treat the weak is how you right. treat God, something in that right, context, right. right? How y'all have treated these people, how you specifically has, has been harmful. How other people have, intentionally and unintentionally, yeah. to be fair, has been harmful. And we're creating more and more harm when we ignore the fact that our actions can be harmful to people who have nothing. So the people down here, not, right. show the wiener roll real quick. Mm. So his wife says she cries on the way to work every day, that they clear up urine and fecal matter from their doorway every day, that right. they've been robbed right. and attacked and they're afraid to work. Right. Should Wait. that climate exist downtown? No, that climate shouldn't exist downtown. But I do, again, we can identify... These are problems. Yes, sir. Let's, let's not act like Lorenzo's saying there's not problems. No, no. I'm saying that there are solutions to these problems, but our elected officials, our city, our mayor, they don't want to actually do anything about it. You know, our county executive hasn't really said a word about it, but this guy was in charge of all of this. The downtown neighborhood alliance, you have the PDP who's driving people around but not picking them back up. You see what I'm saying? So when you talk about all of these things happening, well, of course, people are still going to take a shit right there because that's where the bathroom is right now. And let's just be very clear. That's not the only bathroom downtown. I right. worked downtown, and right. I, the place that I work at is a bathroom. So I can identify that these people don't have an option. So, sure. Or I can say, I'm going to cry on my way to work because of that. Maybe if she sat out here and watched someone almost die in front of her, and it's not always no She deal. has. Right, so then that's why she's crying. And she, she, should talk she got Narcan for a me. woman who was overdosing, and her three-year-old daughter was walking down the alley. So it's real for them, too, she man. She walked right through that door when I was talking to her husband, and she said that they're all just addicts. That's not true. You wouldn't even know that I'm not homeless because I sleep out here just like everybody else, right? But I'm not an addict, am I? No. No, No, but I am, Marty. That's that's what I'm saying. We all have our vices, right? But they do judge people, and that's why they get treated the way they do. I don't know how people treat them intentionally. I know I told them to fuck off because they were talking bad about people that they don't literally talk to. Do you categorize every cop as a bad cop? All cops are... Hmm. Huh? A cab. You do? Yeah, the institution of policing is racism. Mm. You understand that? Even the black officers. I don't give a damn what color you are. It's a problem to me that you you maintain and uphold a system that discriminates, oppresses, and, and brutalizes. Let me black let me introduce people. a retired cop. You know Tony Marino. Yes. You two I go back. Tony. No, we don't. Why do you think that I'm friends with everybody? I didn't say you were friends. I, I, I said you go Tony. back with something. I said we go way back. I'm not saying you're my friend. I, I get you, Mario. You know what I'm saying? But you were campaigning for mayor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you took each other on. Is that fair? What, what ha- how I recognize it, we were out in homeless camps because nobody from the government or from the city were going to these camps. They were actually told not to because they, they were afraid of COVID. Well, I refused that, so I went and got a bunch of donations, and I was filming going into the camps and showing what was going on. And we had never spoke. We didn't connect. And I don't think he understood what I was doing, and I was trying to understand what he was doing. And there was a moment where I thought we were going to be able to at least come together because he had a presence. And then uh, shutdowns happened and riots started, so that's where a separation happened between. It wasn't a riot. I just want to put that out. Or the. But wasn't there a conversation that, that kind of made you angry about going to your house and protesting and making? It. It was not uh, Mr. Ruley. It was people that were with him. 
Right. And it was because I criticized Mr. Rooley about something that happened, uh, one, one of the one of the actions that they had coming on downtown. And it was just I felt differently than he did. But the people that were with him, and some of them that I know have now been abusive to him, they targeted me. Yeah. Sure. Some of your folks have turned well, on it, it you. Well, it was. I don't care that's about fair. that. That's not the conversation we have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's that's how. Uh, that's how we were introduced. That, that's how we were connected. And let's be very clear, me and Tony did not, I didn't have an issue with Tony helping out the folks on the streets during COVID, especially because we were doing the same thing different ways. Tony was using it for a campaign effort, and that's also okay. But when we exploit people's pain to benefit ourselves, that's the problem, right? So I'm benef- I'm telling you right now, I don't want you to film them, right? Well, right. Tony didn't know that any better. Maybe I could have, you know, said it to him a little nicer, but I also feel like he's an adult and he should recognize that people should not be put on the internet without their consent unless we're talking like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So that that was our issue more or less and I don't I don't play polite politics. I say what I want to He was a cop most see. of his life, so you're yes. saying he was a bad cop too. I don't think that Tony could be a great cop under a system that is racist. You say all cops are, he says all cops are bad cops. That's it's because he, he He's just telling you what he lives. Let me tell you exactly. Yeah, Let's just be clear about that. Sure. Um, there are police down here that police this area. They're bike cops. There's two of them that have been so helpful in how we have protected this space, but also kept safety here. In yeah, I've seen them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What I tell them, Tobias will tell you. I, I'll tell right. them all the time. Go to hell. But that's, that's as much love as I got for him. I see he tries to help people. So they're doing the right thing. They're doing the best they can. Yeah, yeah. The other cop yeah. is the one that stopped the guy from punching him in the video. So I know these cops care, and that's all I care about. I talk to a lot of cops. I don't want to be friends with the police because the police do not understand most of the time what I'm trying to say. But I do find those who respect that it's not individually about them. I don't know Tony as a husband or a dad or a brother. I don't know him as a person. So I can give a damn. I could not judge him as a person. When he puts on a badge and he has a gun on his head, that is what I'm judging. So if you turn around and look that way for me, mm-hmm. you see you see that young woman mm-hmm. sleeping under a blanket? Right. That's a man, but yeah. I apologize. You're I can't good. tell. Completely covered. It's a homie. What would you do? What would I do? What, what should we do to help? So let's just... If, if, and by the way, a lot of the folks refuse it, as you know. Mm, yeah, they refuse it because I've been it's there. inconsistent, right? No, so, Marty, no. I refuse help. Okay, but I brought, I brought doctors down here. That, that's fine, but you brought a stranger down here to tell me I need help. I brought Again, money down here. I brought people with housing no, down here. No salt. No solution is, is, is any of those things, right? You're trying to come get people. Right now, Tony, I'm struggling with being stable because of my mental health. Yes. So if we don't address the mental health, right. we can't address the addiction, right. which we can't address the homelessness. So you're saying, oh, I brought money, I brought housing resources, I brought doctors. None of those things help the fact that there's no relationship there. You can bring anybody down here, and I'm going to tell you right now, and they're going to tell you, get away from me. No, I've, a stranger. I've, well, I've seen it. If I brought anybody down here, and I bring people down here. I brought their family the members down here. Some folks again, just don't want it. Bad relationship. I wouldn't trust you. Yeah, I get it. You know? So you have to find people I who have are a question. Yeah, I go. By the way, I appreciate we, both of you doing this. I, I'm just glad that I, I didn't know if he would be... Uh, willing to be here with me. I was more than willing and I'm happy that you are because I, I have really no clear. animosity. My entire body's shaking because I really just watched a man get beat right there in front of me. So I didn't want to be here as much as y'all I wanted me you. to. I just felt it was important for me it, to it needs, correct some things. We need to have these conversations sure. because if we can't have them, nobody is going to come down and do the right thing. I, I We agree that we're not getting the services we need here the right way. Right. But one of the things that you left out of the, the actuality of what we need is safety. You can't do anything until it's safe for everyone, or at least there's a presence of safety. So if we're not talking about the, the mental health services because they're not bringing them, even though they tell us that we have them, and we're not talking about uh, housing and shelter because we know that they're not providing that actually. When there's somebody that's gonna bring violence to this community, I know how I, think it's supposed to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. It's not always taken care of correctly, but when somebody's going to bring violence, how do you propose that that be stopped? Because I didn't see the entire action on the video you show. All I can do is read about what was accused. you came here, and you came here intentionally ignorant, right? I want to know from you 
what happened. But if you didn't see the video, then oh, I, just, I I watched the video. I don't okay. know what the entirety of the interaction. What was. you saw in the video is what happened. They grabbed that man right here, and that it was seconds. I, right. It wasn't like a drawn out it. thing. Like he, they popped up, he went down. What brought them to that man? And they said he was selling drugs. Yeah. There was a previous action that happened. He was in a fight, sure. and they thought he was coming back to retaliate. Now I don't. I'm just saying what they read. He wasn't in a fight here. Okay. That, this is all I'm asking. Yeah. How do you suppose to stop somebody from a violent interaction when you know that they're coming to bring violence? Uh huh. How How do you do that? How How do you propose that that gets done? Community engagement. See, if you would come to me, like, let me just be very clear. Sure. Let me just, and I'm not going to say who did it. A police officer came to me. I was sitting on these steps with my friends. We were feeding people. They pulled up a couple of them on the bike. The one officer knows me, came to me, said, Lorenzo, come here, please. I said, okay. He said, I know you're not going to tell me the name or anything like that, but I was called because someone had a gun down here. He said, is that true? I look right back at everybody. Anybody got a gun down here? Everybody tells me the truth because it's, it's, it's I'm the relationship. We built trust with each other. Yeah. No, they ain't got no gun down here. The police left because they know that if I'm here, that's not happening. They know that if the staff are here, that's not happening. We keep the people safe here. So when you say, how do you keep people safe? You don't jump on them like that. You have someone who is a liaison and there used to be a liaison. Y'all remember her? The white lady? Oh, yeah. yeah, she disappeared. So when we talk about how do we build this? Yeah, but you're saying a guy, should, I don't want to speak for you. You're yeah. saying a guy who was selling crack shouldn't be arrested? That's, did you hear me say that? No, but you're kind of inferring that. Inferring how would you like to arrest him? Please come, please come with you? me. I want to be a nice guy, because they tried to no, get no, him to. No, they wouldn't didn't. comply. No, they didn't. Sure, they did. So, We're gonna have to disagree. So his forearm around his neck pulling him in one direction. Well, it was a twenty-minute video. It was fourteen minutes. Well, actually. okay. And and he's only on the ground for how many minutes? I don't have All a right, time exactly. now. Because here's the thing: you guys form opinions based no. on things that you don't fully no. care about. No, that's not true. I do care about it. Okay. So well, did you? So do you identify really? the police were wrong? No. They weren't wrong. I'm not saying that. So I'm asking you. Because, because I'm, not, I'm telling you that he's a drug dealer. Sure, they can arrest but him. But just how so I don't issue. think you can determine whether they're wrong, I don't determine that. I let investigative agency I determine. I just determined they were wrong. I get it. Yeah. That's you. But as a person, Mario, I'm asking you as a person, you can't do that because why? Because well, you can't form an opinion on this, but you formed an opinion on the homeless people you were recording without their consent? I did not. What did you call them? Would you say in your well, post? This, look how dirty the city's become. Well, it's grimy. Right. It so, is grimy. So you judge them. I'm asking you for your personal judgment on what you saw as, as of what you view. Did you Based view on what wrong? I've learned, in, in, including folks in City Hall, they say it was a reasonable arrest of a criminal. So the beating was necessary. It wasn't a beating. According to everybody I talked to. This isn't Marty Griffin's opinion. This is the opinion of people looking I'm at I'm asking for Marty Griffin's because you asked for mine. But you gave it. I don't think it was a beating. So that is your opinion? Yes, it Marty. is. Okay, based cool. on fact. Uh -huh. No, based on their uh -huh. fact. Not that's, your... based on, that's based on that white privilege. I get it. You're right. Okay. Can we walk, do you mind if we walk this result, though, without, that without showing anyone? That man wasn't mm -hmm. injured. What? What did you say? Oh, I, I said that man uh, was not injured. He, he came out alive. Uh -huh. He is relatively healthy. I don't know what. I mean, if he was, yeah. there was obviously something going on. So yeah. at least we've gotten to that point. No, we didn't. So when you said he wasn't injured, what do you mean? I, because his, his eye was bleeding, right above his uh, left eyebrow, and he, he had contusions okay. at the photographs. Hey, you said something that kind of unsettling me. You said you just saw somebody beaten? No flat. What? Yeah, you said you were upset because you saw, was somebody beaten here? Or? I didn't see it. Did something happen behind us? Marty, or? you can play with your kids. Huh? They're probably fun to play with. What does that mean? You know what it means. No, I really So let's don't. keep the conversation real cup instead of I think he was referring to what he videoed. Oh, I see. I, the, the I Can we walk? Do you mind if we walk a little? You see that man? Sleep we won't on show the him. We won't show him. Okay. We're very wide. Uh huh. So, the shelter. Yeah. There's a sign on the front. Yeah. No loitering. Do you think that they should allow loitering? Do you think the folks here should open this up, even though they don't want to, apparently, because they're saying mm -hmm. that? No. Uh, let's. I guess we might as well stay here and talk about it. Yeah, of course. I'll trespass a little bit. If that's all right. right. Um. So. So the sign says no loitering is allowed in front of these premises. Yes. Um, is that do fair? I, yes, it is. They have a right as, as private property owners to say we do not want people here at a certain amount of time or any time or whatever time, right? What? They absolutely do. Where do you want them to go? I don't know. 
Right, Mark. I, I really do not know. Everybody has the right to say that. Here's what I'll say that. I don't know. Up. You're right. I don't. That, I don't right. think they do either. So, you know, if this is something... Right, Marty, you like... What, what, you like gambling? No. Okay. You like gum? Gum? Chewing gum? Chewing gum. Yeah. You like gum? A little bit. Okay, so if you like a certain kind of gum, you're going to chew that gum, right? Because it's familiar to you. It's safe to you almost. Sure. People are here because it's familiar to them. It's safe. They know Lorenzo might stop past with a meal. They know Nikki might come down or Beth might come sit yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like organizations show up and just drop off shoes and, and clothes. Look, they know that here people are identifying that there's no space for them. So we're going to help as much as we can. Where do they go outside of that if no one's giving them an option? Because I can't provide the Massive space. problem all over America. Right. So right on. Tell the URA to give me a building. You know? I'll raise my own capital to operate the space. But that's not an option because we want to move people out of the city. We don't want our people who make our community right here in our community. So that's really the problem. No, right? I, no I, it's a huge deal. Yeah, and I think that the issue is no one addresses it in a real way. So It's 100% you know, true. Somebody died. That, that should be enough. A child was born and someone died. Mm. That should literally be Well, there be have been several overdoses work. here and deaths here. Well, but that's but that's the point. We should be, we should be caring because in real life, Marty, I ain't trying to be mean, but all y'all could be, you know, drug addicts tomorrow and be strong out right here, and I ain't gonna love you no less, even though you're ignorant as hell to me. I'ma still come feed you if you want to hug. I'ma I hug agree. you because that's who I am. I serve all people, even the ones I don't like. Here's the problem, y'all don't. Again, I I spent my entire career helping people, a lot. Yeah, I a know. hell of a lot, all day long. So for you to suggest I don't is bullshit. No, it's a group of people is what I'm saying. I have helped the poorest of the poor, my man. I've been in places you could never imagine. I'm don't sure. judge me. I'm not judging you. I'm not We're telling a story telling here, you, man. I'm telling you what, what I've gained based on what you posted online, just like how you formed your opinion based on what I posted online prior to this conversation we're having now. So We've known each other 10 years. You. Must right. be 10 years. Right. So you, you know that if I cared to judge you, we wouldn't be having the conversation. I cared to have the conversation. No, I'm glad you're here. So I'm having the conversation. What's the end like game, it? though? How does this... How does this end? How tell, do we... the, tell the city of Pittsburgh, your county executive, to put the money back into the community that they're putting into having 24 police officers and 14 police vehicles in the middle of downtown Pittsburgh at 8.30 on any day. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, friend. Do you mind if we walk up here a little? Without, without showing anyone? All right. Let's just, I want to be clear. That's yeah, not yeah, man. option for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool. I'm glad you're doing it. Because it's a nice phone you got back there. This is not identifying anyone. Right. Now... This is tough. This is very difficult in, in For, any city in America to have someone in this situation. Right. What Absolutely. can we do? Address how we got there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the start. So you can't just it makes me sad that. as I can't hell. just wake him up. No, I'm with like, you. I mean, I probably could because that's the homie. But you couldn't wake him up you, and be like, know hey, how'd gentleman? you get here? I do. Yeah. So you can't wake him up and say, hey, how'd you get here? What, what's the circumstances? What can I do right now to help you get to tomorrow? And then tomorrow we can figure out how to get to next week. And next week we can figure out the No, month. you're right. You're right. You see, but nobody does that. I can't do that by myself. We can't do that. The group that we have is a group of like five people who are community-based with literally nothing. I live paycheck to paycheck. Right. So, and, and literally only because I put all of my money into coming down here as much as I can. I don't pay my own bills because I see that there's no one else doing it. We are all community based with nothing, giving everything, but the people who have it all, who have outreach team, who have programs, they're not here. Social workers are not here building relationships so they can actually start When I was helping. here, there was an outreach guy right here From talking Mercy? to both of the men. From, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Both no, of they, them. I didn't say they don't come down at all. I'm saying he's here not live. We, here. And we didn't identify either one of them, and both of them were high. But, and he's trying to help not both of here, them. Though, Marty, where, where they at? He now? was physically right here when I was here. Where they at now? Because I was. I've been down here for three months, and I can count on this hand how many times. Tony. Yeah. He's right. On, honestly. We need more. Losing this young man who's under this blanket, passed out, as an example. There really is no phone call. I can make or you can make where someone comes and helps this man long term. Is there really? I I could tell you how I did it. Uh -huh. And it's the humane this is not humane here. Right. This is not societally okay. This is not okay for our government to allow this to happen. And really the only the, a problem that I have with Mr. Ruley is he agrees with all of these same things. Except for the part where law enforcement needs to be involved. Right. And I'm going to tell you how I, I would never involve said myself. I not that either. Uh, I said the, they don't have a place here and now. 
Okay. Policing. All right. Well, Engaging is different. Mincing words. I I, I understand what you're My, saying. I take language important. It is very important. Mm -hmm. So, but saying. you don't want. Uh, how, this is how law enforcement needs to be involved here. This sorry, person, sorry. I can tell you about. Sorry, you have a lot of words I'd like to six, six or seven I different. A, rules violations that are going on here and if i connect with this person i can bring i can bring social services here to this person if this person needs medical help what i would do is get the medical help and then take them to resolve or take them to an area where they get addiction services and mental health services but what they've done is they've completely removed them from this community they should, with last time we were here, there was a guy standing here. There was. The police? No, resolved. The guy was here. It was but, actually very cool. the police, like you say, there's people that, there are cops that come down and try to do the right thing. I don't believe that they really know how to right now. They're not getting that kind of training. But to come in and there's not. There's two of them that do. That, that don't, when you ignore this, this just breeds itself. And that creates problems. And with this comes all the violence. So you got to start somewhere. So let's, can we equate two things real quick? Yeah. Because I just need clarity. Okay. What's violent? What, what makes? How does this become violent? Real quick. Just from the ground to, if, to what? If this is okay, uh, then other people are going to be you're here. Referring to a young man who's right here, who's passed out under a blanket. Quite frankly, he's well, been here since we got here. Out, he's okay. I apologize. He's up all night because it's safer to sleep during the daytime. Okay. Thank so you. When y'all see them out on the streets, folks sleep. It's not because they're high. It's because they're tired because they stay up high. all night. Sometimes, sometimes they're high. Sometimes all the time. But well, okay. language, you said it, right? Sure. Language matters. Most of the time it's because they, they had to to stay up all night. And heat is not high. So when, when, we, when we bring, when we don't take care of people, it falls apart. Okay. And okay. then you see the violence that happens. It comes. It just comes. It, it, you, the you man that you videoed. The violence. It's, because the man that you video, it's the start. videoed is not a man that is on it's the, the start. streets. It's the start. So you're saying this is okay? No, I never said that. I'll give him. I, I'm asking. This ain't that. It's and not. that's the problem. The, we're trying to make two things that cannot be the same. The same. But one eventually leads to the other. He and ain't if you're not, be no drug dealer. He's a, not, but he's a victim of all of this. Of the drug dealing? Or of the all of it. The system failed the drug dealers. I agree. That's why they exist. I'm not the arguing. The system failed I, the drug dealers. The system failed the I drug agree. dealers. All right, so, so we're not... But now they're just laying here. Now we have people just laying here. All well, right. we don't have to. All, no, right, all right, all right. That's where you and I, we need to figure out how we do this safely mm -hmm. and humanely. I just told you. Well, that's not that's not safely. All right, Lorenzo, how can I... How, create space. How can I help you? I'm okay. serious. How can I help you personally? How can I help you get something done? What do you want? Mm -hmm. What do you want? You guys out here exploiting people again? No, sir. My oh, guy. It's okay. it's me. I'm, I'm getting them together. Okay. Good luck, man. Watch it later. <laughs> See? You so? build a reputation for yourself. I do good, too. Uh, you Whether you shit. like me or not, man. I, I don't care to like you. Well, I don't really care about that. Yeah. I care about the truth. All right, all right. What'd you say? How can We're you help me? We're here for a form, yes. How can you help me stop telling people that the people who are on the streets are dirty when they're I said the city is grimy. Yeah, see, but see you, now you're you're you use, twisting words. You use and that's bullshit. People. When no. You use that language. No. People are suffering. It's a talk show, man. We don't use people video. Are suffering. We people need to see grimy. it. Marty, did you forget you be posting your little videos on Twitter? No. You ain't that old. Don't do that. You posted your little videos on Twitter. I know and I thought did. you was cute and fresh. Shit. I didn't think and I was cute and fresh. And piss and yang. Why are you here? Why am I here? talking to me I'm such a bad guy why I didn't are you say here? he was a bad guy I think you are slick as him pissed to think that I didn't see what you said how can we help you how can you help me yes sir yeah talk to your local elected officials and tell them that this is a problem not because people are criminals or drug addicts but because it's wrong that we let our people in our community our city die <laughs> on the streets get birth on the streets get policed on the streets get beat on the streets tell people that we all we got to do is just love a stranger <laughs> It's very simple. Me. Because when I said that I would feed the police if they were hungry, I would. I would feed you if you was hungry. I would feed anybody because when I serve the people, I serve all the people. We have to come to that agreement before we can do anything together. I don't work with people who discriminate against who they help. Rapists, cops, yeah. martyrs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I help everybody. So when you come, so you're to that classifying place, me with the racist, with rapists. No, Marty, I'm classifying you with people I don't like. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah. 
I don't need you to like me. Right, I'm to, exactly. I can make a difference. And I, don't, and I don't want you to even care to like me. I want you to care about the people because that's what this is about for me. Right. If you can come to the table and provide something that makes sense to care about people, I don't got to like you to work with you. Right. Mm -hmm. I get it. And you got a lot of resources. So, I do, sir. you know, you want to serve some food? Because. I've served a lot of food. We could do. We could do. I'm chicken not judged wings by you, man. I don't work for you, and I'm not judged by no, you. No, I'm saying you just we said help how to people help. every single day. You just said how to help me, Marty. Yeah. So you, your what do you want me to do? Hurt. do you no, want to serve my feelings food? don't get hurt by you, man. But, it's, but it's, yours get hurt because you attack people that have helped you. I've seen it online. Yeah. Why does that happen? Who helped me again? Many folks have given you money and helped you, giving you housing and gifts. And you done? Are you finished? No, I'm just asking. What you happens done, are you there? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? In the email, I said you start acting ass. I'm gonna just walk away. No, I'm, I'm not interested. No, I appreciate so it. So we're not gonna talk about my life. All right. Because uh, I'm not talking about your life. I'm talking about your work, and we're talking about mine. Cool. I am here to help you, man. Right. And so we'll stay in I'm contact. I'm saying, and it's not, it's not condescending. I'm saying, do you want to serve a meal one day? Yeah, well, of course. I, I want to address the, the there is there yeah, I'd love to the exploitation <clears throat> yes. connotation. Really, I'd love to. It, it, it irritates me. You got my me. cell phone. I'm just tell text you why, me. because. You shoot videos in the yes. same way we're doing this, and why do you do that? To bring, in my opinion, to bring to all eyes what you see. Right. And then you try to get other people to help change that. Right. That's what we're doing. Nobody does this because the people that pay attention and listen to the radio and watch this, they don't get this real life information. Uh -huh. And I know you people only don't it like from it. Me. I, I get it. From you? Yeah, when was oh, you down I, here? Listen, Three months, Tony. Did I see you? Did you I see spent, me? I spent you ain't see 20 me down years here, right? here. I don't But you ain't been down, down here, here for that three months. So you could have helped these cops, right? Uh, no. Since you know how to do it so <laughs> no, well. No, no, they don't want to help me. All right, so you see, <laughs> but you here, see this is you. my avenue to be able to talk about this. But when because you, when I you understand record the people, system. you talk about them in a negative way. I Who? don't. Y'all, y'all will conk you back. Y'all do it in a negative way. I don't do that. Yes, it is. I don't post people's faces. All right. We're but if you're out in the semantics. public, that's what it is. We're trying to, Let's try to bring eyes onto this problem. Stuff. I yeah. mean, I agree, but you can't do it, and you can't do it trying to make fun of fucking people. That's not, not cute. Nobody's making fun of anything. It's no. real. Of a, it's this is of real. Good person. Nobody's being I'm made fun of. Person. This is real. He made fun of this I did not. He showing called them high the last time he was down here. They were high. He no, was. He, you, he said said they was high. you said they're up there using drugs, and they got up and walked away. I know those two people y'all tried to talk about using drugs. They weren't using drugs. They were sitting there. He just said he got no, high. No, they had to call an ambulance. How he got... I was here, man. You weren't here. Or, Don't uh, tell me what I know. I was We're here. not going to argue right. about but the news. Yeah, yeah. I'm but here that's to, another instance You done or you finished? That's another instance that the government had an opportunity to help somebody, and they walked away from it. So put your, put your money where your mouth is. And we right. just did it. This is what we're doing. This is my time. My time's valuable. Uh huh. And this is my best way to communicate this is to explain it to everybody, to talk to you. Let's, we, we're See talking me. right Sorry, now. And we're, we're having, to me, a really good conversation because it's the hard conversation. I'm not and mad about it. I'm not. This is, this is why, Marty's a little... This is why we're doing this. <laughs> I'm cold, man. Honest I'm to goodness, this is why... We're doing this so we can show everybody that mm -hmm. we can have these conversations, not be mad, and try to bring real things. And it's not bringing a pizza. It's right. telling. It is. It's not. Feeding it's telling people. Pe well, it is. That's how you build sure it. it is. That's how you build the community. I understand that, but there's a bigger part of what this government is right. not doing to take care of people. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to do, and that's what I'm trying to get your point of view, so we can talk through. But you don't like this it. is what you should. It doesn't. I don't have to like it. I need to know it, right? But if you don't like it, then it doesn't. No, it doesn't I, hold value I, I don't have to like it because I can make it actionable. It does hold value. Okay. I need to know. Well, I got a consulting company. You could pay me for my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm glad we're doing this. I yeah. really am. And this is just the beginning. It's not the end. We have a relationship, whether it's volatile, is irrelevant, like he says. Volatile? See, y'all be trying to use crazy it's, languages. It's not volatile. Okay. I, I, you don't get crazy with you. Oh. Hey, okay. I, again, I respect and admire you. You know that. And I'm glad you're here. And I, I think we can start here. Okay. And I appreciate you doing this. And you know me, my man. I appreciate Thanks, you, too. Marty. You're really Godspeed, brother. Thanks, Tony. So, this is just the beginning. We'll develop a plan and do whatever we can to help him move the ball and him move the ball and make a difference out here because it matters to me. All right, folks, appreciate each and every one of you. I, I really appreciate him doing this. He didn't have to. He literally could have told me to go to hell. He ain't paid me. He <laughs> literally could have told me to go to hell, and he didn't, quite frankly, because we have a history. Some of it isn't good. 
Tony, All appreciate right, guys. you, brother. Hey, no. Let's, Thank let's, you, folks. Let's take care of each other out here. Let's go, Pittsburgh. We, we could do this. we got to have the hard conversations. It's the political machine. It's the administration that needs to pay attention to this and change what they're doing. They need to change and they need to bring it full power, full load. They got the money. Bring it down here and start making real action. And he will tell you if we can do that, things will start to change. I believe it. All right, folks. Thank you.